taking your usual uh, notes? What? Now come on. The more I fight, the more you learn, right? It's called photographic reflexes. It's called unoriginal. <laughs> Trying to piece it together? You giving up? Not a chance! <laughs> so, where has your investigation left you? That you're not the brains behind this. And this smells like distraction. I'm done talking! <laughs> Coward! What's the matter? Don't like surprises? <laughs> Take better notes. <laughs> Guess you saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <laughs> What's happening here? The city's collapsing. Damn it, they played us. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Beta! Screw this. years ago, the Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A-Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleash diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, 
Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day, but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease. Comforting words to those families torn apart by the disease. But is he too confident? Many criticize AIM's tactics. This so-called resistance army grows stronger every day. This is Phil Sheldon reporting live at the A-Day anniversary. I can't see the revolution right under their noses. Come on. Where'd you guys go? There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Hello there. If you get it right, copy everything. We'll find you. Now we're talking. Whoa, Retro Stark. Do you have a moment to talk, Beta? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. The girls are leaving for the mosque retreat in a couple of hours. It's still not too late to meet them at the bus. It was tonight? Kamala, we talked about this. Going to the retreat will be a good time to get away from all of this. Breathe some fresh air, laugh. Nakia will be very disappointed if you don't go. You're right. I'll think about it. Good. Very good. There'll be ice cream, eh? <laughs> oh, and best of all, no boys, so lots of fun. <laughs> I love you, Beta. I love you more. But you don't get it. <sighs> okay. Where were we? Password hint. First love. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god, I'm in! I'm in! I can't believe it! Oh, right. Uh, copy everything. Bless your inflated ego, Tony Stark. <laughs> at headquarters. Huh. Guess I really kicked the hornet's nest. Gotta get to headquarters and check out what's on this flash drive. <laughs> 